Hello guys and welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Metro Cloud system. This is a pretty major feature solution to actually have your uh, encoders from Majewell to be able to stream and restream content all over different platform. Okay. This could be also used with third-party application such as vMix or OBS. But let's jump into it. Okay, first of all, you have to download Docker, which is the engine that run all these containers. Also, uh, KillView and other brands do something like that. Uh, you can use the manu manual that it's here, okay? on top of the page and follow all the steps that are uh, put in here to get what I'm going to show you now. Basically, I'm going to show you uh, the steps you need to uh, do in order to activate this server. Okay, in my personal uh, way, I'm going to show you now. I'm going. I have only installed the Kiloview uh, Kilolink server, and we're going to actually install uh, the Majewell. I've done um, a backup image of uh, my own server, which is this one. So I'm going to load this to speed it up the process. But basically, what you have to do in order to install the module server is to run this command that I leave in the uh, down below the video after you have uh, installed the Docker engine. But uh, in my personal case, I'm going to load the image to do quickly. So. I'm just have saved this one uh, because I have all my credentials and my link are set up, but you basically uh, have to do this simple command. You have to copy this, then paste it in here and then uh, there will be a pull from the Docker Hub service to install the server. Now, uh, see, here is installed. We can check it out with Docker PS. And as you can see now, the Medjool SC Cloud is running. Uh, how to enter to the page, okay? you have to type the IP address of your own server and then column 80, which is the port on which the GUI sets. Okay, as you can see here, we have to uh, prompt the user and the password. Uh, for the first time you log in, the username will be admin with capital A and the password is the same. Okay, we now sign it in into the interface as you can see many things could be done now let's presume we want to um, to install uh, as uh, an hardware from Majro. i have the ultra encode sdi in my specific case as you can see here and then i'll go and do the and to the general and then here there's uh, the cloud option so i'm gonna have to going to the security tab here into the module cloud copy this invitation code okay going into here got pay, do the register and put the IP address of my own server then click save okay take a while says register and then as you can see here register status waiting so we go back to the module cloud and you see here in pending approval we have a device of course we can accept or reject in our case we accept okay 
Now you can see I've registered my devices here. In fact, it says accepted now. Okay. Now what we can do with this? This is really cool because uh, as you know, this hardware, for example, is able only to stream uh, one encoding um, protocol at the time up to six destination. But the Medjool Cloud actually allows us to send one signal through the cloud and then restream in different encoding flavors with a stream conversion. Okay. Uh, in my specific case, I also use this in with vMix and not with the encoder, but I'll let you see what I mean in a second. Okay, let's add, for example, a SRT listener and call ultra encode. Okay, and let's choose for the port. We have something saved here. I remember, yes, this is the port I, I was using to stream it but the IP address is wrong let's change it uh, okay. okay we are using uh, port uh, 1500 for uh, to stream SRT onto the cloud so we put the same port here and we press add okay now is uh, is going to listener the SRT uh, flows onto that port, okay? If we enable this, which actually the Ultra Encode now is going to receive the full screen of vMix in this specific case, we're gonna uh, tap it out here and start the streaming. We can see here on the cloud, yeah, we got a receiving signal, okay? We got a receiving signal, but then we want maybe this, to be restream somewhere else. Let's try, for example, uh, to get this signal back to vMix in SRT. Okay, we have uh, the output section here. We can press add and maybe another SRT listener as an output. And I'll, I'll type uh, vMix return SRT. Okay, which is a different port. This time, maybe 1600, for example. Press OK. And then we can add an input in uh, vMix. Um, in a specific case, I'm gonna have on the color side, on the port 1600, on the IP address of the server, press OK. And as you can see, now I'm receiving back the same signal I sending from the encode. Okay, so the encode, the encoder gets uh, push the signal to the cloud, and then the cloud can actually restream in different flavor. As you can see, you can also choose RTMP, for example. I'm gonna show you. If I press RTMP, for example, I'm gonna have Facebook Live. Okay. I'm going to choose RTMPS and open my Facebook page. I'm going to copy some data, the URL server, for example. Okay. I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to copy my streaming key and paste it in here. Once I press OK, you can see that now it's going to transmit on Facebook either. This is a really powerful engine because we are able to actually send only one stream to the server and then get as many output as we want. Okay, here on top, you can see how many uh, devices you can put. You can put up to 20 devices right now. You can have up to 40 SRT outputs right now. On the, rely, on the SRT Relay server then, that now I'm going to show you how it works. And then uh, up to 20 stream conversion settings. That's pretty crazy, huh? But what's more than this? We can actually do something crazier. We can have an SRT Relay server. This is 
great because SRT is basically a point-to-point -point solution. So we shall use one ending on listener and the other uh, on caller or maybe with a rendezvous which is not that common but we can send the signal from one location to another with the SRT relay server the server from Edgewell actually acts as a gateway what does it mean it means that actually uh, you can send an SRT feed and get that SRT feed on different uh, uh, decoding solution at the same time. I'm gonna let you show this uh, within vMix because I want to show you that this server could be used also with third-party applications such as vMix for example, okay? So we're gonna stop this and gonna stop the stream conversion from here and I'll let you see how cool is it that can you you can use it with vMix, for example. I'm I'm actually add some other stream conversion option with vMix, and I'm gonna uh, enable it. Okay. This I've set up an RTMP on the Facebook page and a SRT return as before as I did on the Ultra Encode SDI. But this time we're gonna use um, vMix to stream into it okay as you can see here in the srt i've actually put same port here is the uh, 20000 here and 20000 here so i can uh, start the srt and as you can see the srt is going to come back on the port 20001 as you can see here and also to facebook that's crazy. I mean, you can use vMix and use the Medrel Cloud to basically have your restream option totally for free. This is incredible, guys, okay? You can have, of course, as many outputs as you want in here. You might, you might have, for example, streaming to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch at the same time. It actually works as uh, restream does. And it's, up, it's, it's free. That's, that's really great stuff. Okay, I'll let you see now the SRT Rely server, which is something different. For example, I've set up here on vMix another SRT output on the port 8000. I'll let you see here in the SRT Rely server, you have the settings. You have the ports on which the server will listen to it. The upload domain and the play domain. As you can see here, it basically used the stream ID to identify uh, what is the stream. And that's great because actually, as far as you use a VPS server, all the ports should be opened and you have no problem on port forwarding. So the server will listen into one specific port and then you have a stream ID that identify your streaming server. In my special uh, view here, I'm gonna show you in vMix. I'm setting up the second output with a stream ID of live one. Okay, so this is the first one I, I'm using it. Okay, if I enable it, as you can see, the SRT relay server actually gets the connection from vMix and then it's going to return me back the SRT here because onto this SRT I'm actually uh, put it uh, as a play. Okay, that's crazy, no? That's crazy good. This is, uh, this is not the same, but it should be like this okay so i'm receiving back from the srt rely server but this is crazy because you can also have different application getting the same srt feed as you can see now i'm open obs and the signal is going to be split in two so i actually have the return srt to vmix and to obs also this could be done 
many times as, as far as you don't reach the 40 outputs on SRT Rely server. So basically, that's it. I hope you liked this video and maybe you have get a try on the Majual Cloud system, which is really powerful, guys. I really invite you to have uh, uh, some sort of testing onto it. I hope you got like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.